All right. Oh, that's the wrong audio. That's the right audio. Good thing I good thing I turned off the video in the background. <laughs> you would have heard some noises. No, I'm kidding. I was actually watching uh how I met your mother <laughs> on my computer. Literally like a couple of seconds ago, and I was like, maybe I should have it play in the background just for myself. Right? But then I was like, nah. No, I'm not gonna do that. That would that would that would distract me. That would distract me too much from the uh, actual game at hand. All right, so welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man, machine, everything that lies in between. To more Kingdom Hearts. I definitely just realized that the audio on my headset is actually pretty loud, so I'm gonna lower it for myself so I don't hear my own microphone input because that's gonna be that's gonna be too much for me <laughs> hearing the sound of my own voice all right <clears throat> so we're back with more kingdom hearts where we last left off we i think the last world we did was the nightmare before christmas right halloween town we defeated oogie we went into Alaska for like two seconds but then i was told it might be optional so I'm actually gonna try and see what that, try and see what that's like, right? Made our way back to Travers Town. I'm trying to think is if there's anything we did, uh, you know, in between that. I don't think so. Right now, all we have to do is like head to the our new location that is unlocked for us. But in between both those sessions, both in between uh, last session and this one, I made good on some promises number one might as well get it out the way you may have noticed it right now my health bar and donald's magic and goofy's health bar is pretty high up there last time i think we ended this i was level 34 or some bullshit now i'm level 50 don't question me don't question my methods this is how i work <laughs> it's proud mode gotta come prepared right Make sure the playthrough is enjoyable for all. But, you know. Don't want it to take too long. So this is what I'm rocking right now. I think I made the golem chain. I think that's the only real thing I did off camera. Is uh, I synthesized a couple of items, maybe. I think. Here's what Donald's rocking. Here's what Goofy's got. Right? As for... I, do I actually need to... Okay, no, I don't need to put any potions in my stock or anything. Abilities! Here's what we got going. Take a gander. We have finally got Leaf Bracer. I'm actually very happy about that. MP Rage 2. And Lucky Strike. Not only Sora has Lucky Strike, I think Donald has it now too, yeah? Yeah, Donald has Lucky Strike now. And you got three AP points. Hold up. Put that shit on. What are you doing, Donald? What are you doing? Make my life easier. And Goofy. Does he have Lucky Strike? Yeah, he has. He, he starts out with Lucky Strike pretty much, right? If I remember correctly, he gets it pretty early. Uh, so now, getting synthesis items for the later dates, later troubles, shouldn't be too much of a hassle. Um, What else is there to show off? There's a big, there's a big one that I want to show off, but uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else in between that I did that I may have did off camera. I don't think so. I think it was literally just grind in Halloween Town uh, and pick up some synthesis items. But that that came with the grinding naturally. Um, so once you save Pinocchio and Geppetto, this little house is going to be open for you here in Travers Town. Pistachio, my buddy, my friend. Hey, it's Sora. Why, hello, Sora. How did you get here? A man lame a uh, man lamed. Wow. A man named Leon helped us. He even got us this house to live in. We're living off of Section 8, buddy. I don't know how I'll ever repay his kindness. I say, I hear you three are fighting the heartless. I mean I didn't notice it before, but I guess I noticed it now, you know, since you saved Pinocchio and everything. I thought I might be able to help you with this, so you know, I did what I did my best and diddle my little fingers in my weird basement where I make little boys. Here you go. I call it the Geppetto. For us? Ah, uh, but of course, 
Pinocchio and I can't thank you enough. So the Geppetto is a blueprint for the, uh, it's a gummy ship design. It's basically Geppetto's, um, ship, I think. Uh, we'll do anything we can help you. And then, we'll come over here. This is the big prize. And you get Wishing Star. It's Keyblade. But since I have Pumpkin Head, I think it's not really useful. Has short reach, but always finishes up a combo with a powerful critical blow. So, guarantee critical blow at the end of your combo. That's pretty nice. But, I mean, with Pumpkin Head, you already get, like, a high chance of critical blows, right? Long reach and the ability to deal a string of criticals. Okay. Yeah, see? Not just one critical, multiple criticals. That's better. And it's just stronger. So, there's that. Uh... Oh, here's what I did. I definitely came over here to Sid, bought some stuff from his shop. The most important things that I got from here is system up one, uh, come, uh, come. <laughs> computer level two, computer level three, uh, basically helps you with building gummy ships. And speaking of the gummy ship, let's show off the big boy. Let's do it. I said I was going to do it at the end of the last stream so that we can have an easy time in the future. So I did what I said I was going to do, and I did it. I did what I said, and I meant what I said when I did it. So, if we head over to the Gummy Ship Garage, we can see the bad boy here. I call it the SS Kick-Ass. Now, I didn't have every gummy, uh, every gummy block that I wanted, but for the most part, I got what I needed. Right, so, as of right now, shouldn't have that many problems. When it comes to gummy ship bullshit. Also, some tournaments got unlocked. Didn't touch any of them. Right? And I'm trying to think. Is uh, I didn't touch any Trinity marks or anything like that. I'm kind of just saving them till we can wrap it up. Oh, here's what I want to do while I'm in Trivers Town, actually. There's really no reason for me to warp there because I already got it. I'm already there. Kind of just wasted. Kind of just wasted time a little bit. Not going to lie. Head over to the magic study. And if you want, with our wonderful torn pages that we have, we can hop into the magical book, but we're not going to do that yet. We're going to save that for later because that's uh, that's just annoying. But we have uh, some stuff we want to give to the fairy godmother. Hello, ma'am. Oh, another summon gem. Let's help this little one. Here we go. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Learn how to summon Dumbo. If you find any more of these stones, bring them to me. Alright. We showed off Genie, we showed off Dumbo. I mean, not Dumbo. We showed off, uh, what, what's his face? Simba. We did that. Um, I'm trying to think. What, what was the Trinity mark that we unlocked last? Was it? Hmm. Now, I don't think. I think it was just the. The, the green one, right? We don't have the yellow one, right? We gotta do the tournament for that, yeah? Yeah, we gotta do the tournament for that. Alright, because there is a piece of equipment that I really wanted so bad, it would've helped move my leveling up and stuff like that. But, um, I guess not, you know? I guess not. Because I didn't want to grab anything too important off-screen. Alright. I'm gonna just use the gummy ship to kind of fast travel. Because I don't want to jump over a bunch of rocks and shit. Back to Traverse Town. At District 1. Not to be confused with District 9. A pretty awesome ass movie in my opinion. I actually like it. Do not ask me what it's about. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember the plot threads of that movie. I just remember watching it. Going man this is fucking weird. And then watching like the middle part of it. And going, dude, this is confusing. And getting to the end of it, and I'm like, man, this is actually pretty cool. This is actually a pretty good movie. I like it. Look at that one hit. That Thundara ring. That's that lucky strike working for you. You know what? We're gonna jump up here and we're gonna grab this. I don't know what it is. It might be a postcard, but I'm sick and tired of looking at this fucking chest. It's a postcard. Alright, cool. Great. Should have saved that chest for later, honestly. Alright, so... One of the more important things I want to do here in Traverse Town, i kind of been putting it off because I don't think I have enough for it. I want to run over here 
open this door. Now, the first time you come to Traverse Town, you can obviously walk through this door if you feel like. And you'll get a nice little cutscene of Pongo and Perdita here, looking all sad and fucking... Just... Just looking like a bunch of losers because they lost their puppies, right? But since we went and gathered a little bit of them, we're gonna get some rewards. But probably not the one that we really want. No, no, you don't get that reward that you really want until way later down the road. Get from Pongo and Perdita. Cura G, alright. Fairaga G. Two gummy parts, that's cool. What you really want to get from Pongo and Perdita is that once you get enough, once you get pretty much, I, I think you, I think you might actually need to get all of the goddamn puppies. I'm not sure, <laughs> but once you get enough of them, you get an upgrade to your wind magic, which is the one that Donald has graciously just bestowed upon me. Arrow, your defense magic, and what level two of that magic does is make enemies get hurt on contact, and it also deflects projectiles. And it increases your defense. Now imagine that when you, when it gets to level three, <laughs> you can just break the game. That mixed with a summon that you'll get later on that will break the game even more. And it makes makes it all all the more fun. Hello, Breezy. Welcome back. Nice to see you again. I hope everything is well. Over here in the Kingdom Hearts world, the playthrough is actually going way faster than I thought it would. <laughs> so, it, nowhere near, n even though Kingdom Hearts is the long game, it's going to be nowhere near fucking uh, Persona levels. Which I still got to upload. Alright, I think that's everything I want to show off as of right now in uh, Traverse Town, so we're going to head out. To be honest, everything's not so good, but it can be worse. That's bad. <laughs> That's bad. I hope it's something that can get solved pretty quickly, right? Get solved? Resolved. I think resolved is the word I want to use. Um, is there anything that I... No, I don't think there's anything I want to grab out of... Out of Pumpkin Hill right now. <laughs> hmm. Does Jack have anything for me right now? No, no. No? No, 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 no. We're gonna head to the next world. That's what we're gonna do. Now we have a better gummy ship. Look how fast we're going. Look how awesome we are. Just kill everything in our path. The only downside is that it's such a big fucking ship that, that, I, that all the little bits are gonna hit me if I'm not too careful. I also got laser beams I can shoot. Ah, fuck! I don't want to get hit too much. There we go. There we go. Just, just get it all up in there. I remember you motherfuckers killing me earlier. Now you're dead. You see that? They killed me like three times last stream. They just bashed their faces into mine and I died. Made me feel really bad. My nose itches really bad right now. <laughs> I'm way more happy now that I have this gummy ship built so it doesn't take forever to do these stupid fucking levels. And there we go. See how fast I talk? A uh, big ship is catching up to us. Gorsora? Quick quacking. Quacking? Gawking? Quick, gaw uh, quick gawking. It's a pirate ship. How they're breathing out there, I don't know. It's gonna ram into us. Hold on tight. Tighten up, boys. We're about to get hit from the front. I'm stressed and I have zero motivation in both school and personal life due to stress, family emergencies, mental breakdowns, and fear of future anger. I probably shouldn't be reading this out loud. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, let's see. Schedule. Chronic emotional exhaustion. I didn't think you'd come, Sora. <gasps> Good to see you again. Well, where are Donald and Goofy? Are they that important to you? Okay, I'm good. 
<laughs> All right. Just as a heads up for anybody, if you got to tell me something personal, just, you know, again, Twitter's open, right, with messages. That, and you can just send me a message on, on Twitch. I'll read it when I got time. Not so fast. No shenanigans I'll address that real quick after the, uh, after the cutscene. Riku, why are you siding with the Heartless? The Heartless obey me now, Sora. Now I have nothing to fear. You're stupid! Riku, you're Do kind you of being a bitch, you? man. Not a chance. I literally I met with you and I said, Hey, dude, you found Kairi? Have you seen I her? What we're looking for her. You want to join us? And next time I see him, he's all like, he's all like, you're out here too busy, want to play hero, hanging out with Donald and Goofy, because you, go you want a fucking all-expense trip to Disneyland. Let's get underway already. And I'm like, Riku, I literally asked you, you to join Sora me away from the first time I saw you, my guy. That scurvy brat thinks he can order me around. What shall we do, Captain Hook? I'm jealous of Captain Nothing. Hook's mustache. The whole I kind of want one. I want one just like that. Let them keep an eye on the brats. But, Captain, you know who is also down... Shh! Did you hear that, Smee? Oh, that dreadful sound. No, Captain. Are you quite sure? Did I imagine it? Oh, my poor nerves. You know, Captain Hook, if if fucking around with Peter Pan gives you a uh, PTSD, yeah. right? It was definitely P PTSD, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. You know what I mean? If you're out here having flashbacks about the crocodile, why the fuck you keep fucking around with Peter Pan? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh my God, this cutscene is way longer than I thought it would be. How you doing there? Looking for a way out? You just hiding in the Who barrels? I'm the answer to your prayers. Do they still okay, make Peter then. Pan peanut butter? Right. Is that your still way. a thing? But you're stuck in here too, aren't you? Huh. Nope, I'm just waiting for someone. Who? Tinkerbell, what took you so long? Great job. So you found Wendy? Tinkerbell's the fucking best. There was another girl oh my there god. Too? Are you crazy? There's no way I'm gonna leave Wendy there. So you don't watch Peter Pan for Peter Pan, you watch Peter Pan for Tinkerbell. Come on, Tink. Open up the door. <clears throat> hmm. I'm Peter Pan. I'm Sora. Okay, we're in this what together. What the fuck, but Peter Pan? Wendy. Jackass. I'm Peter Pan. Put her there, buddy. Hi, I'm Sora. Say, dickhead. All right. Now let me get back to this because <laughs> I wanted the cutscene to play first. All right. Mm. Stress, family emergencies, mental breakdowns, and fear. Try to escape with small breaks and short attention span. And a shortened attention. You mean like deliberately try not to focus on things too much? Hmm. To put a bright side on things, a classmate tried to help me to stress when I was stressing out in class. So it's nice to know people would do uh that can't speak. People who would do small things like that and hope to continue talking and being friends with them after this semester. That's wonderful. It's really nice to have someone reach out for you. Is it? I'm assuming. I'm assuming it's someone that you didn't know prior, and they were like, "Hey, man, you're right." Because so many times, especially when you get older, uh, there, there's like this weird fucking dynamic when it comes to like school and shit, and just like, and like uh, your general peers, where uh, I'm actually gonna switch out Goofy for Peter, I think. Uh, with your peers and shit because you know when you're a kid and you're growing up everyone's picking on everybody because everybody's a jackass especially when you get to middle school but first when you hit high school it settles the fuck down right people start realizing like you know what i don't care what the other person's doing but then but then like later on in like you know college or like a workplace or something people get so used to not caring about other people that they would just like 
kind of just ignore it whenever something bad happens. So it's nice, it's nice to have someone like in normal everyday life just kind of walk over and be like, hey man, you all right? You doing all right? You wanna, you wanna talk or something? Met them in class and they're super nice and you get along well. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> That's great. Just make sure, just make sure when you're high-fiving them in the hallways, keep an ear out. One of these days they're gonna go hail Hydra and you're gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, but that, that's great. Now by shorting attention span, you mean like deliberately just trying not to spend too much time on stuff? Because I know I have a problem with that. I mean, look at me, I fucking grinded all the way to level 50 on fucking Kingdom Hearts for no goddamn reason. I didn't need to do that, but I did it anyways. Actually, while I'm fighting these motherfuckers, let me just... Quickly. I forgot, you know, once you get a new party member, you gotta steal their shit. You don't need this. You got Faith, Trust, and Pixie Dust, buddy. You don't need all this other magical items and shit. These are mine. I'm taking them. Yeah. If there's anything I would say to help fix, like, not to help fix, fix is like probably too strong a word. Help, uh, I guess reorganize or like, uh, lighten the stress on everything. Like, first and foremost, definitely just find time to get sleep. That's just, that's a big thing, right? Because sleep gets super neglected, especially nowadays when everyone has to work super hard for shit. Instead of just, you know, instead of just getting a regular fucking job and going to work and coming home and just living your life. Maybe go get groceries once a week or something like that. Maybe not once a week. I don't that. Maybe that's too much. <laughs> once a week. I know I don't. I buy like when I buy groceries, I only spend like around maybe 280 at most. And that's like plus extra shit that I really don't need. And then, like, that lasts me for a month. Like, I remember, I remember the first time I went food shopping for myself. My mom just looks over at me. And she goes, like, you're not going to survive off of all that shit. It's like all these little things. And I just look at her. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I am. Eat it. You're full. Well, not full. You're satisfied. And you just move on with your life. Right? And then once you get hungry, you eat again. All right. Peter. What do you have for your abilities? Critical plus, critical... Oh my fucking god, really? Treasure magnet. Okay, well, I don't... He has lucky strike, so I don't really need to take anything away from Peter. He doesn't really have any... He doesn't have any magic. I think he has, like, time magic, maybe. Yeah, freezes time for enemies halting their movements. Uh, he has, a, he has like, a bunch of stabby motions that he does. <laughs> which is really funny when you see him do it. Because it's like, damn, why you... Why are you stabbing like that? Stop it. That's like some prison shank type shit. See? The attention span is like you do your work, try to take five minutes break and just uh break to the stress. Come back two hours later remembering what you were trying to do. Okay. Arrangement basically sums it up. Okay. Yeah, definitely uh try not to fucking marathon shit. Because that's what I do. But I kind of got used to that. <laughs> For me personally, whenever I work on something, I'm just jumping around, not even fucking playing the damn game. Go through one of these doors. Oh, shit. Oh, by the way, yeah, completely forgot to, com completely forgot to acknowledge it. Uh, throughout the ship area, um, just like, just like the movie Peter Pan, Sora's shadow is going to be following him and teasing him and shit like that, and it's going to be pissing you off, so beat its ass when it shows up. Tell that motherfucker that you don't need no shadow. Staple it back to your feet. Whatever the fuck Peter Pan did in the movie, I don't remember. That shit was long ago. That was like, what, in the 60s? In the 80s? Something like that? I like Shadow Sora, though. That's kind of that's cool. Um, but yeah. I definitely get stuck on shit. Like, I, I've gotten into the habit of, like... Like, once I start working on... It, it's equal levels of, like... How do I say it? Like, I marathon shit, but that also leads me to procrastinate even more. 
because I know the moment I start working on something, I'm not gonna get the fuck up until like, until like I gotta use the bathroom or something, I guess, right? Sometimes I'll just be doing something and I'll be hungry, and I'm like, eh, I'll work, I'll work through it, it's not bothering me too much. And then I forget that I was hungry, and then the second wave of hunger comes, and it fucking hits like a train, and then you're like, oh, I'm dying! Is this where I came down from? Where the hell is the- oh, here it is. Yeah, so, it's good to take- it's good to make sure you take breaks, try not to focus too long on things, clear your mind, come back to it. I completely went in a fucking circle. That's great. That's amazing. Good job. Good job, me. Fantastic. I'm an idiot. So, the world of Peter Pan over here in this game. It's not really the world of Peter Pan. It's more like you just travel the ship and you head to oh, one area can fly. later on. Anyone can fly. You want to try? Anyone can fly, Goofy. You just need some of this Twinkerbell uh, dust. Haven't you cooled up yet, Tink? And then you float like a feather. Just a little bit of pixie dust. There. Now you can fly. So, I gotta say, right? Me growing up as a kid, watching Peter Pan. I can't be the only one that had a crush on Tinkerbell, right? Come on, I mean, come on. It's Tink. It's Tinkerbell, she's cute. But with that said, I had a crush on Tinkerbell, but the shit they do in this game, it's kind of a little degeneracy in there. Mainly because they give Tinkerbell a bunch of camera angles in this game where, her, where you're just getting a bunch of fucking like upskirt shots and shit. So much so, that in the original PS2 version of the game, uh, I'm not sure if it's in if it's in this version of the game, but I distinctly remember that uh that someone went out their way to to color her panties or whatever, and there's like a camera angle that happens later on in the game when you do something with Tinkerbell, and she gets all up in Sora's face and she like boops him on the nose, and when she's doing that. Her, her little twinker butt is in the air, and fucking the, her skirt just flies up, and you just get a full-on eyeful of that. And I remember just sitting there going, "Did they really need to do that? That was kind of unnecessary." I'll be right up there. Just hold on. Wendy? Yeah. Is there another girl in there with you? Oh, Was Tinkerbell the original Sundere? But she seems to be asleep. Because that's the whole thing, right? She hates Wendy. She has a crush on Peter. Don't know how that would work, though. Uh. <laughs> Can they just drag her lifeless body across the floor? Hey, let's get up there. Damn, Kyrie, you up there passed out. Must have been one hell of a rave. Meteor G. Alright. Now, how the fuck do I get up there? I think I gotta go through a different area. These rooms are pretty small in this in this fucking ship. Kinda hate the camera angles they give me. Cause they don't give me a lot of space to work with here. Who the fuck leveled up? Was that Peter Pan? Was that Goofy? Which one of you motherfuckers leveled up? Sora, Sora, stop trying to fucking work the pole. Oh, I'm back out here now. Wait, what? Okay. I know there's like an area where I need to jump at. Oh my god, you guys are fucking me up. Holy shit. And my fucking shadow's just dancing in front of me, making fun of me and shit. Sitting there fucking... Skipping to his loo. You guys remember that song? Skip to my loo? <laughs> you know, you know, I remember bringing it up to people. I was like, hey man, everybody's doing all these stupid ass dances and shit. But remember when people used to like, do daggering and like head topping and shit? Especially head topping. 
And I remember bringing it up to people, oh, here's where I gotta go, I gotta jump on this table up here, and then I, yeah, and then we go up here, that's what we do. And I remember bringing it up to people, and they're like, head topping, what the fuck is that? I'm like, Wendy, what do you mean, you what, what is that? You used to do it all the time. The whole group of you motherfuckers used to do that shit all the time. What do you mean you don't know what head topping is? And they're like, nah, you made it up. And I'm like, dude, what? <laughs> I'm like, what? Why would I make that up? The evolution of dance moves are just kind of stupid. They get stupider and stupider as the years go by. It went from like just, you know, making a peace sign with your hands and moving them across your eyes and getting down with it to the disco, right? To like fucking people just basically sexually assaulting each other in public on a dance floor. <laughs> I call this move forcing entry without consent. <laughs> like, Jesus. Alright. Wait, isn't this where I just fucking came from? Jesus fucking Christ. I think all these doors are actually locked, right? Well, there's no door there. Okay, cool. Yeah, no. I think what I gotta do is gotta come out here, drop down here. I think. No, I don't drop down there. Or I can just can I just jump up here on this one? No, this leads over here. What the fuck? Why don't I remember how to do this? Hmm. I remember I have to jump through a certain hole. Maybe there's just one that I'm not seeing. Is it over here? What the fucking fuck? Maybe one of these doors are unlocked now. Is it this one? Oh, this one's unlocked. Wait. It's been a while since I did this. <laughs> what? Oh wait, no. What the fuck am I doing? I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. Damn it. Yeah, I'm a stupid idiot. I'm a moron. Now I know why why I'm having a stupid time here. Jump up here. This is this is fucking game design 101 stupid, right? It's cuz I forgot you got to do this. You actually got to switch out Peter Pan because you can't use Trinities. You can only use Trinities with Sora, Donald and Goofy. You got to have them pull down the ladder. Like, if that's the case, then why tell me to fucking... Why even give me the option to switch to Peter Pan if I don't... You know, if he can't help me. And why the fuck can't he help me? He can fly! He's taller than all of us! <laughs> that man's taller than all of us and he can fly. Just pull the fucking ladder down. What a dickhead. <laughs> Alright, climb the ladder. Oh, now he gets serious. Okay. So, Shadow Sora here, right? Sora Shadow. He's gonna run around, multiply, and he's gonna hit you with a 1, 2, 3 combo, right? That's pretty much all he really does. But guess what? When he hits you, that shit hurts. Unless you're like me and you grind it all the way to level 50. It still kinda hurts, actually. You can... I, I think you can freeze time on him, right, to make it a little easier. Um, halfway through the fight, he'll start doing this shit, where he teleports around you. Like that. So get ready for it, and just kind of roll out the way. Because if not, he's going to basically sucker punch your ass, and it's going to hurt. But we're not going to have too much of a problem here. Oh, and if you have the scan ability, when he's doing his doppelganger shit and you got the scan ability, you can tell which one's the real one by checking the health bar. Whichever one has the biggest health bar is the real one. Ow. But his doppelgangers can still beat the shit out of you, which sucks. 
Sora, can you not miss your hits? Thank you. And there you go. I think you get the Ravenclaw when you beat him. Remember, short attention span. Just remember that you have an assignment to finish for tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Aw, oh, damn it. You should do that. You get the Raven's Claw. And once you do that, uh, Sora's shadow, I guess, returns to his body. As you can see, I have my shadow back. Thank you. That's actually a detail that, I'm pretty sure that's a detail that happens once your shadow gets stolen, Sora, Sora doesn't have, like, the shadow beneath him. But Ravenclaw. Let's check that out real quick. Reduces dark damage by 20%, also raises strength and defense. What about you, Donald? Is that gonna help you? Okay. Bring your defense up by two. What about Ray of Light? But it lowers your magic and your health. Hmm. Okay. Well, you're not gonna use that, that's for sure, because you need as you need all the magic you can get, buddy. What about Goofy? Forget what the fuck, Peter. Oh, is it better than Obsidian Ring? Oh, yeah, 100%. There you go, Goofy. Puppies? Ah, puppies. Look at that. Beautiful. And this is a shortcut back down to uh, the holding cells, I think. And once you're ready to fight the final boss of the area, I guess. Neverland is actually really fucking short. You just walk through this door. Uh, never mind, you don't walk through that door. Oh yeah, we gotta save Wendy. Duh. Wendy, Kyrie, you guys down here? Wendy! Come on, Tink! Not now! Well, this is as far as I can go. I gotta help Wendy. Well, bye, Peter Pan. Kind of really didn't help that much anyways. I was doing all the work. All right. Walk on back out. Walk through here again. Climb the ladder. Get the fuck out my way, Donald. It's my ladder. I'm just going to ignore these guys. I'm already too damn strong for them anyways. Quite a codfish, that Riku. Running off with that girl without even saying goodbye. Damn dog, he pulled a Cosby? That's bad. Where did he go? To the ruins of Hollow Bastion. Where Maleficent Literally, he did pull a Cosby. Oh my god. <laughs> my man picked up an unconscious girl, disappeared into the darkness, and didn't say goodbye to anybody. Unless you intend to leave your little pixie friend behind. What the fuck, Tinkerbell? You literally just left like two seconds ago. How did you get captured? You can fly. Hand over the keyblade and I'll spare your lives. I'm glad I'm merciful, unlike the heartless. So, which will it be? The keyblade or the plank? Well, since I can't really give you the keyblade because it doesn't work like that and it kind of just manifests in the hand of whoever fucking chooses. I guess I choose the plank. He's off to me on the head. I can't stay here. Go away. Oh, I can't stand the sight of him. Me, you take care of them. Imagine being in the womb for nine months just for your parents to call you Shmee. <laughs> like you were born to be a lackey. Just believe, and you can do it. Oh my god, I believe that I can fly. Thanks, Peter. Hey, don't mention it. You didn't think I'd leave you and Tink behind, did you? Where did you put Wendy? You really left for like five minutes. Attain the power of healing. Oh, this is how you get the second one. Oh, it's just given to you. Kiraga. 
Thanks for coming by, Peter. I really don't care, though. In Neverland, Sora and his friends can fly while jumping, press the circle button, and then the circle button begin to rise and square to descend. They're all going down. Like this. And it's fun. Too bad Neverland is mostly inside of a ship, so the ability to fly isn't really that important. But hey, you can do your aerial combat, like indefinitely if you want. That's cool, I guess. I mean, it's nice to have the ability just to do it. I think that's why they kind of made this area, like, pretty big. You can just imagine yourself being, like, a ten-year-old playing this game. And you're like, yeah, I can fly. I'm a real boy. And they give you some flying enemies, too. I think these guys are called air pirates. Or maybe that's their Kingdom Hearts 2 name. I don't quite remember. For some reason, they rename enemies. Sora, can you not? Can you not miss? Thank you. Now, Sora's pretty good in the air. Donald and Goofy, not so much. They don't really have that much aerial combat. They're not designed to be flying around and shit. Alright, let me get my ass down here, because honestly, aerial combat is not the best. It's not the best when you're up there indefinitely. Feels better when you're, you know, on the ground and shit. There we go. I don't think they ever did Neverland right in any of the games. Now that I think about it, whenever Neverland's present, they kind of always fuck it up somehow. Did you finish them off? I, Captain, they walked the plank, every last one of them. You literally just stabbed him! Jesus! Ready to make a splash, you codfish? Now it's your turn to walk the plank. Love how Pe Peach is like, tee I'm gonna stab him right in his back. Where the hell did you go? Where are you, Captain? Captain Hook's fighting us right now. I just don't know where he's at. I'm gonna be honest. Where the fuck are you? Oh, he's... Why are you up there? What the fuck? All right, anyways, the fight with Captain Hook. Uh, he is pretty versed in hand-to-hand -hand combat. He hurts pretty much. Well, not hand-to-hand. Did I just say hand-to-hand? -hand? My bad. In sword combat, when he hits you with his fencing abilities, they kind of hurt really bad. You can deflect them, right? But they hurt like a bitch. But not only that... He also has these guys hovering around, and he can throw present bombs at you like he's fucking Deli Bird. Now, obviously, he can't fly because he's Captain Hook, and that's what happens when he tries. Now, if you're having a hard time with this fight, first things first, you should actually put arrow on yourself, which I'm neglecting to do because I'm overpowered. Right? Um, you can use time magic on him, although I don't think it lasts too long. Ow, that just, I jumped directly into that. And if you have the guard ability, it will help you out, you know, but I'm not using that right now. Now, he does have, like, a rage mode he goes into, which he kind of just did, I guess, when he gets all piping hot and mad. He's gonna unleash, like, a flurry of blows and shit, and they're gonna hurt. High damage, this one. Captain Hook hurts. Don't sleep on him. He will fuck you up. Even though he's like more he's one of the more goofy characters you fight in this game. Surprisingly so. Can, hey Donald, instead of healing Goofy, you should have put defense on me, but that's okay, man. I, I see where your allegiances are. And just like that, Captain Hook's done. Neverland is one of the more shorter levels in this game. You know, for Neverland, you really don't explore Neverland. It's just the ship and, like, the next area we're going to go to. Sora. 
Sora learns Ars Arc Arc Arcanum Ar Arc Ar I don't I don't know how to fucking say that word. I never did and I never will. Oh, Kyrie couldn't wake up, so maybe she's really lost her. <gasps> Jeez, Goofy, I don't Sora, remember asking. I still can't believe it. It really flew. Wait till I tell Kyrie. I wonder if she'll believe me. Probably not. You can bring her to Neverland sometime. Then she can try it herself. If you believe, you can do anything, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Sora. That doesn't I make know sense. I will. There's so much I want to tell her about flying, the pirates, and everything else that's happened. I mean, you really don't have to tell her. I mean, she kind of saw it herself. You say there's something Tinkerbell, there. I love you, but you gotta get your ass out the camera. Please, there's children watching. Welcome to the world of Neverland, where we never set foot in Neverland. And for some reason, Peter Pan thought it was a great idea just to leave Wendy up there by herself. What if she fucking fell when you weren't here? Like, it'd be over, you come back, hey, Wendy! Wendy? <laughs> Is fucking pancake on the road? You'll find her, Sora. Just don't give up. Wendy, I, we, I literally only exchanged, like, maybe two sentences with you this whole entire world. Your words mean nothing to me. But anyways, you're here at Big Ben. Now, the game doesn't... The game kind of doesn't direct you here a little bit, which is kind of, which I always found kind of weird, especially my first time playing this game. It fucking freaked me the fuck out. Because I was just going like, okay, I can fly around, there's a save point here, I guess I'm done, I beat the boss, so I'm just gonna leave, right? And then for the longest time, I was like, well, where can I go? I can't go anywhere, right? Well, that's not the answer, you stupid dum-dum. Let me tell you what the real answer is. Head back to Big Ben. You hop on down, and you, you know, put on your detective skills. You look at Big Ben, and you're like, oh man, very majestic, very wonderful. Look at all of this, and it's giant magnificence. And then you notice, hey man, one of the clocks is fucked up. It's not the same, that's crazy. Well, that's weird. And then you can lock onto it. And then you smack it. And you smack it some more. And you hit that ass one more time. And that's how you beat the level. No one tells you this. Not to my knowledge, anyway. You just kind of figure it out yourselves. But guess what, if you're like a 5 to 10 year old playing this game because look at the Disney characters, chances are you're gonna miss this for a while. <laughs> Especially if you're not paying attention and you're too busy flying around. I find it weird that the heart to the world of Neverland is at is in London. Nowhere near Neverland. Hey, Sora. Hmm. These fucking these. I don't think these cutscenes here were new. The one, the flashbacks when they're kids. So there's really no reason for them to be silent. It's just kind of a choice that they went with for some reason. Or maybe they added them like after the game was done. They're like, oh wait a minute. I gotta put some more stuff in there. <laughs> A fucking yo? Question mark? Oh, okay. Reckless to bring her here without at least using a vessel. Remember, 
Relying too heavily on the dark powers could cost you your heart. Once again, I like to remind people that Riku is 15 years old and he is this fucking swole. Makes no goddamn sense. Though his world perished, his heart did not... I mean, I guess it does. He he did grow up on an island, right? But so did Sora and everyone else, so why the fuck they all so scrawny? Riku, what the fuck you been eating? I play King Hearts 1, the more I find just how stupid little me was when I was like, Man, Riku's the coolest. He's not a loser like Sora. He has the power of darkness. Peter, are you really going back to Neverland? Afraid so. But we can see each other anytime. As long as you don't forget about Neverland, that is. Oh, Peter, you dumb, stupid idiot. She's going to forget about you. Oh, boy. She's getting steamed again. Do me a favor. What the fuck was that face, Try Peter? Me, will ya? What? Twink Twinkerbell, I would love it if you didn't shake your ass in front of me constantly. You obtained Fairy Harp. You also learned the ability to glide. Not fly, but you can glide. But it's a shitty glide, though. It's not It's not the good one. So that's pretty much it for Neverland. For now, anyways. But with that, you get access to one of the most broken things in the game. And no, I'm not kidding. Tinkerbell is one of the most broken things in this fucking game. Why, you may ask? Well, unlike all the other summons... Uh, just, well, just like the other summons, you need both your teammates to do it, but that doesn't matter. Because the other summons, you summon them and you get a summon gauge and their time is limited. Tinkerbell, you summon her at the beginning of a fight, she stays there indefinitely. Um, e until either two things happen. One, you manually dismiss her and tell her to get the fuck out of here. Two, if you die, because guess what? Tinkerbell, when she's in play, acts as an extra life for you. So if you die, you get healed up again, and Tinkerbell disappears. Not only that, but throughout the fight, she periodically heals you. She has no time limit to that whatsoever, and it doesn't get rid of your party members either. Take that and combine it with level 3 Iraga, which increases your defense, automatically deflects projectiles, and hits enemies on contact, along with you doing your fucking combo bullshit. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> Completely stupid. Tinkerbell, along with Eraga, breaks the game. Or Eroga, however the fuck you pronounce it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. For, uh, Neverland right now. <coughs> well, we found the Navi Gummy. Peace, let's go back to town. Said we'll install on the ship once we bring it to him. There's a new tournament being held at the Coliseum. We're gonna do that at a later date. I hear there's a great reward. I hear that you need to mind your fucking business, dog. I should actually do the... I should do this earlier, but I don't want to. I know it's gonna be, like, really boring to watch the tournament fights because there's so many, like... It's just basically a gauntlet of enemies. And there's, like, what? Three different tournaments? One has ten rounds. I think the second one has twenty rounds, and... No, there's three. There's four of them in total for the tournaments. I think one is 10 rounds. Uh, w another one is like 20. Another one, I think, is like either 40 or 50. And then there's the Hades Cup, which is 100 rounds. I think it's 100 rounds or somewhere near it or something like that. Something long and stupid. But, you know. What you gonna do? <laughs> We're going to have to do that at some point, and when it happens, I'll, it's going to be very light on commentary. It's going to be the most boring shit to watch ever. But as of right now, head on to Sid, 
Here you go, buddy. Looks like you found the other one. Let me see it. Okay, wait here. I'll get it installed right now. Yeah, you do that. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Why the fuck are you yelling my name? I'm right here, Donald. said to you. No frowning, no sad faces. Goofy, so my childhood friend just got taken away in front of me in the darkness. Aren't you worried? Also, she might she might kind of be in a coma, so I'm a little I'm a little the sad. Told us to go out and find the key bearer, and we found you. So as long as we stick together, it'll all work out okay. You just gotta believe in yourself. That's all. Just believe. I believe in you. Why am I flying? Where am I? Long ago, people lived in peace, bathed in the warmth of the light. Everyone loved the light. Then people began to fight over it. They wanted to keep it for themselves. And darkness was born in their hearts. The darkness spread, swallowing the light in many people's hearts. It covered everything, and the world disappeared. But small fragments of light survived, in the hearts of children. With these fragments of light, children rebuilt the lost world. It's the world we live in now. But the true light sleeps deep within the darkness. That's why the worlds are still scattered, divided from each other. But someday, the door to the innermost darkness will open, and the true light will return. So listen, child, even in the deepest darkness, there will always be a light to guide you. Believe in the light, and the darkness will never defeat you. Your heart will shine with its power and push the darkness away. Do you understand, Kyrie? Kyrie? I'm gonna say it right now because, like, there's no use in worrying about it. Kyrie's childhood is never explained, at least to my knowledge as of right huh? now. I haven't played me Melodies of Memories, so maybe in that it's explained, but I've always had my... I mean, come on, it, it's Kingdom Hearts and the story is goofy as fuck. Everyone has their theories about everything. I've always had my little theory about Kyrie's past and bullshit, but I'll save that for another day. I installed that navigation gummy, but you know, that place is crawling with Heartless. Don't say I didn't warn you. Do you want me to fucking save the world or not, Sid? Here, take this along. Transform G. Alright, cool. Um, I'm trying to think. There's probably like a handful of chests that I completely just ignored that we can go grab and shit right now. Uh... What do I need? Do I need, um... I would really like to get Eroa. Hmm. And to do that, I think I gotta do the uh, tournaments and shit. I mean, I'm trying to think. Because <laughs> we really don't have nothing to do in Traverse Town right now. Actually, you know what? Real quick. Head to the accessory shop. Let me see if there's anything I can synthesize real quick with what I got. And then take a quick trip to the item shop to see if Donald and Goofy have any weapons for us. Alright, let's synthesize. Uh, synthesize. Let's see, can I make anything new? No. Well, now that I have access to the other worlds, I can definitely search for these. Dark matter, on the other hand, is a rare mineral. Mineral? Synthesis item? Whatever the fuck you want to call it. 
this rare item that we gotta go pick up. Some of them are in chests. You get others for doing things, I think. I don't think it's a random drop at all, right? Hmm. Huey, Dewey, Louie. What do you got for me? Let's see, Mega Staff. Still got the Mega Staff. Gaga's Fist. Alright, well, nothing really new for them. Alright, cool. That's fine. Okay, and once you're ready, you can head over to the new world known as Hollow Bastion. Alright, let's head on to the new world. Hold on, Donald. We don't know what's out there. A good help. Why don't we revisit other worlds first? I'm sure we'll find some new items. Why don't you... Shut up, Goofy, and stop speaking the truth. Why did I click normal drive? Uh-uh. No, no. Not doing that. Warp drive. I think I'm actually going to do the tournaments now. Well, at least the tournaments that we should do for, um... <coughs> to beat the world in Hercules. Or Heracles. Hey there, buddy. Are you going to compete? It'd be great to face you. I'll think about it. Think about it, Hercules. Mega Potion. And over here... Huh. Oh, if you do the Trinity here, there's a chest, I think. More puppies. Nice. I'm not looking forward to doing all the mini-games and bullshit. <laughs> I'm so not looking forward to it. Will not open. Alright. Oh. Actually, let's take a quick look at... At a Fairy Heart. Raises max MP by 1. Enhances magic power and summon power. Sometimes deals powerful critical blows. Its downside is that it has super short reach. But, I mean, hey... Why not, right? What's my AP looking like? Oh, I got zero. Okay, hold up. Tech boost, aerial sweep, leaf bracer, rage. Oh, and this shit right here. Oh, man. Hmm. I kind of want ripple drive back, you know? I can get rid of a... Wait, how much is ripple drive? Is it... What is it? Three? It's three. I can do without it for now. For now. You know the rules, right? Uh, did we do did the main? No, okay. The main story doesn't count as doing the fill cup. All right. Fill cup. Cup? Cup. Fill cup. This is the easiest tournament to do right now. So, all these guys are just pretty much one hit, honestly. Oh, come on, Donald. You didn't have to use the fucking time magic. Now we gotta sit here and wait for the damn thing to die. Way to, way to drag it out, Donald. Congrats, man. That's the power of the Keyblade. Power Wild. This is where Blizzard comes in handy. Because you can just do that. <laughs> Not deal with it. Thunder also comes in handy for that, but Thunder, you don't really get to aim it, at least not in this game. Not to my knowledge, anyways. Well, that was unnecessary. Ow. Alright, you little yellow bastards. Oh. I was expecting them to move around more. 
Oh wait, no, it's the blue ones that hop around all over the fucking place. Wait, no, the yellow ones are fast too, right? Large body, that's what the big guys are called in this game. I could have sworn in one of the games they're called like fat body or something. I have no idea what Donald says when he says that. I think he's saying four daisy. You know what? Using Blizzard on the Blizzard enemy wasn't a smart move. Alright, three more rounds left for Phil Cup anyways. Jesus, two hits? <coughs> I mean, this tournament is designed for, like, what, level 15 or something like that? Oh, come on. A really tiny-ass keyblade. It's hard to hit things. Rumble Rose, you are not. Well, that thing's dead. That was pretty fast. Ow, you zapped me. Alright, guys, at least save some fun for me. Shit. That's it for the Phil's Cup. the power of the stars. Gravity has been upgraded to grab 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 river. I never thought you'd do it. Not bad. Phil, you're just as stubborn as ever. Don't pretend you're not happy for them. <clears throat> now, kid, you still got a long ways to go. The next round's starting soon. Next time, it'll be the real thing. You say, you see that shit you just did right there? Baby shit. You need to do the real shit. Uh, let me not, let me not overwrite my fucking, my other saves. Don't look at them too much. I'm embarrassed. Alright. You can tell that you have completed a, uh, tournament. When you get a nice little trophy up there. There's four in total. Pegasus Cup. I think this one's recommended for like level 30, 30, 35, something like that. You guys get the bandit? Still don't know what the fuck you're saying, Donald. Oh, this one's also 10 rounds? Okay. Ow! Thing just blew up on me. Thank you. <laughs> oh, also, nothing too important, but uh, Sora's um victory animations for the tournament—they're references to other Final Fantasy games. I think they're references to Final Fantasy VIII, um, eight, seven. I think that one's supposed to be eight. The twirling in front of him. I think that one's eight. I think 7 is the one where he, like, turns his back to the camera or something like that. This motherfucker's still walking around? Damn. That's the power of the keyblade. Yeah, I think that one's 7. Either that one's... no. No, the spinning one is 7, and then the one where he turns his back is 8. Because Squall doesn't spin his fucking... His gun blade.
Ah, oh, toadstools. These guys. I don't think we ran into them on stream yet, but I ran into them on stream. So these are the black fungus. They don't really attack too much. The most that they do is, like, they just give you a dinky little push. And, like, you know, uh, they, they inflict poison on you. That's, like, the worst they can do. But poison really does eat away at your health, so pay attention to that. And after a certain amount of time after hitting them, they will harden themselves and become invulnerable to everything. So, uh, just knock them out pretty fast. They're not that hard to get rid of. Just be careful when you're poisoned. And no, there's no antidote to my knowledge. Just heal yourself, really. That's what I do anyways. See ya. Ow! Can you stop blowing yourselves up on me? I hate to see whatever creature is inside of those barrels and those pots. If it just decided to come on out and say hi to me, I think I'd be scared. There we go. I'm gonna kill myself now. Yuffie and Leon! I love you, Yuffie! You're my favorite! Ow! So this time around, Leon's not gonna hold... He's not gonna pull any punches. He's going to win. All the while, Yuffie's gonna be throwing shurikens and shit at you. Now, if you had Iraga, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure some of these might get deflected at her. Not all of them, though. She has to do damage somehow. But, recommend that you deal with Yuffie first. Because she's the one that's running around shooting projectiles at you and shit. Squall, you can just kind of avoid him. Ow. Or just get hit by him, you know, wh whichever one floats your boat. Now, on regular playthrough, they shouldn't be too hard, but since this is proud mode and they can fuck you up, be careful. They also have, like, nice little... Limit break states, or awakening states, whatever you want to call them. Yuffie just tried to do it, but I stopped her. She's doing it again. And now she's down. And Squall's doing his, uh, bullshit. I forgot what that move is called. What's it called, like, Rough Divide or something like that? When he powers up his gunblade. Of course, has a longer reach, stronger power, blah, blah, blah. You can also just have Goofy and Donald just go and get him. I press the triangle button and tell them to go fuck them up. Have them do most of the work. Until, uh, you know, that shit wears off. Go get them. See, look at that. Now I'm going for the kill. There you go. Congratulations. You officially got to beat Squall's ass in your rematch. What the fuck he's doing here in Olympus Coliseum is beyond me, but he's here. You learned Strike Raid. That was great. Looks like Phil trained another great hero. Phil ain't trained shit. Is strength the most important part of being a hero? Well, what you really need is a strong heart. What makes a strong heart? If you gotta ask, you're not a hero yet. Stop talking in riddles. It ain't a riddle. Riddle me this, Batman. I'm actually gonna switch my Keyblade back up. Honestly. I love the extra magic. I do. But this thing is short as fuck and it's pissing me off. And, once you're ready, head on back. The Hercules Cup is the one that you really need to worry about the most. This is what you do to complete the world. Everything else beyond that is optional. I mean, this whole entire world beyond uh, the fight with Cerberus, uh, your first time around here, is pretty much optional. Okay, I clicked Hercules, right? I'm sorry. Gotta make sure that I clicked the Hercules Cup.
Is this one 10 rounds too? Okay, they're all 10 rounds except for the Hades Cup. Oh, the Hades Cup is 50 rounds, I think. Okay. Well, the, the Hercules Cup, I think... I think you gotta... Well, I mean, these all unlock at, um... Why the fuck am I still hitting you? Time is frozen for you. These all unlock as you periodically play the story of the game. But I think the recommended level for Hercules Cup is maybe... Maybe 38? I would say 38. 38 is a safe bet. Might be a little bit too much, but whatever. Ow! That's a mean punch. That's okay. Well, I mean, basically you get the Hercules Cup after, uh... After Neverland. Thank you, Donald. I just want to point out, I'm level 50. I'm still getting my ass handed to me. Ow. Oh, this is why I fucking hate these guys. They go all up in the air. Like they just don't care. Why isn't the camera zooming in on Goofy? I don't know what controls the camera zoom in, like for the victory poses. I always thought it was like, whichever character did the most, but that's obviously not the case if Donald's getting his ass handed to him. Oh my god, can you guys stop fucking jumping around for- Lock on Sora, please. There we go. Ooh, sliding dash. Landing dash would be very helpful, Nothing so I can stop missing my goddamn swings. Well, missing completely, anyways. Rare Truffle! These guys are annoying, and they drop a synthesis item for you. They're annoying how? They're very passive, they don't really do anything, but in order for them to drop whatever synthesis item they have, at least I think that's what, what they have, uh, you gotta hit them a hundred times by juggling them in the air. So... For example, one, two, and then you just keep going and going. Now, I think the strategy to do that is to get Aroa, Ar Aroga, whatever, and just cast it and just jump along with it, right? I think that's the strategy. I have to check that later in like a different, uh, whatchamacallit. But anyways, here's our rematch, uh, our rematch with Cloud. He's back, and he's going to keep screaming in your ear like last time. Uh-huh. Jesus. Okay. Alright. He pretty much works the same as last time. Just stronger, more health, and, uh, with one more new ability up his sleeve. Alright. Let's just be careful now, because he can kill me if he feels like it. Ow. Oh my god, that does a lot of damage. Everybody get the fuck up. And help me out here. Now, of course, this is where Arrow really helps out if you got the upgraded version. If not, be careful. Cloud can fuck you up if he feels like it. If there's any trouble that you're going to have for this cup, it should be Cloud. Oh, nice one, Goofy. And here's his new ability. He activates his wonderful one-wing angel bullshit and just goes all over the place. Now, to my knowledge, he only does it once, though. And thank you for making him dizzy, Goofy, but I, I failed to capitalize on that. And now you're dead as well. All right. Okay, he's dead. Hey, Donald's back, but you have, like, no magic, so... Goofy's back. Go get him, guys. All right, Donald. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. 
All right. I love how I just walk behind him and I'm like, okay, keep blocking that, buddy. Metal Chocobo. I shouldn't have used Blizzard. I should have saved it to heal myself. Now I gotta be a little bit more careful, especially with these air pirates. Because they hurt like a bitch when they hit you. There we go. I need some magic. Second seed. I would say go after the air soldier first. Because his attacks come out more faster. Now, I failed to mention earlier with these like battleship dudes, you can attack their owl in individual parts of their ship, right, to weaken them and stop them from using certain abilities. But for the most part, I just say fuck it. Just go, just go and hit them. Honestly, just don't worry too much about it. Because if you try to focus on one thing over the other, you're just gonna give them more time to like fly away and shit. Just hit them, honestly. And they do this dumb shit. I hate when they fly all the way up there because I can't hit them. That ram attack they do too, I think you can deflect that with either guard or a, uh, you know, a well-timed strike. Show me what you got. Hercules, wait. Let's go one-on-one. -on -one. Why, Sora? Why do you want this? Because Sora's just a, a fucking asshole, honestly. Oh, brother, what a show-off. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Touch each other's dicks or something. I don't care. I'm not gonna go easy on you. Time to prove that you're a real hero. Now Hercules has this wonderful aura on him called his God Aura. How you get rid of it? Throw a barrel at him. The power of a god was defeated by a barrel. Yes, you heard me right. The power of a god was defeated by a barrel. Now I get that he's a demigod. Oh god, when he does the spin shit, just keep, just keep rolling. Just keep rolling. Just keep rolling. Now when he has that God Aura on him, He's uh, stronger, recovers faster, I believe, and pretty much is invulnerable. So you're going to need to do that. So now whenever people ask, how are you going to defeat Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku? He's just telling you throw a fucking barrel at his head and then he loses his ability. Now Hercules also has another ability that he can do. Well, ability is a strong word for it is that he can charge at you with a headbutt in which he will just run around the whole arena with and with the spinny shit without his god power he gets dizzy honestly this is the attack that you want him to do the most without his god power because it leaves him open and it's pretty easy to dodge and he didn't do the headbutt this time but you know when he does the headbutt uh, just you know just roll really Cloud's the hardest thing in this tournament. We're the champs. You got her shield. Wow! And I didn't even hold back! Says the guy who was flexing like a fucking monster hunter. Now I finally know what you mean about strength of heart. Mine comes from Donald and Goofy. Come again? If we stick together, we're unbeatable. Not even Hercules stands a chance. Look at those triceps These Hercules guys got. Me, I'm ready for anything. Those elbows are defined. But that's not exactly what. Of course. Your friends give you strength. Isn't that right, Phil? The three of you together make great heroes. And as a team, I'm sure you can overcome anything. 
as I'm sitting here looking at Herc's muscles, like, I'm, I'm massaging my own fucking quads because I changed up my, uh, my workout routine recently. And honestly, it, it went, it went way smoother than I thought it would. Right? I'm really not that sore from it or anything like that. And even when I was doing it, it wasn't that hard for me. But man, I'm not saying my quads are busted or anything, but definitely feel it in my quads a little bit more. Just in like in one particular area, really. It's not an injury or anything like that. That's also because I was changing, I was changing out my, I was changing out my regiment after not working out for like three weeks, so. <laughs> So that would do that to you. I'm surprised I'm really not that sore. I know muscle growth doesn't go down until after like what two weeks or something or maybe a little bit after two weeks But still I was expecting You know something Now once you defeat the Hercules cup you get the ability to do yellow trinities Just let you do this With the power of friendships and and fucking Donald fondling both Sora and Goofy's ass in each of his hands you unlock the keyhole. Now again, all this tournament shit is optional. You just need to come here once and have Cloud get his ass crushed by Cerberus to like progress through the story, so. Nice. Alright. Metal Chocobo and Olympia. Olympia, a powerful weapon that is difficult to deflect, capable of inflicting mighty critical blows. Basically, that means when you get a critical hit in, that shit hurts. Metal Chocobo possesses incredible power and, re and reach, but reduces max MP by one, rarely deals critical blows. It is a big fucking keyblade. It's basically supposed to be your buster sword, honestly. But, uh, you know, Olympia is better, so why not use it? It's even better than the Fairy's Heart. Well, I mean, Fairy's Heart gives you... It's not as short as Fairy's Heart. Is it longer than Pumpkinhead? Eh, it's a little bit shorter than Pumpkinhead, but eh, it shouldn't be too much. Olympia! Let's go. Goofy. Here's Herc's shield. And... Oh yeah, this is where I got Olympia from. <laughs> the chest right here. Duh. Alright, and that should be it for the tournament area right now. Later on, we'll come back and do some other shit. When, uh, when that gets unlocked for us. Ooh, actually, before I forget. Oh, I don't have the... Well, I'm not really after levels right now, so I can get rid of tech boost for sliding dash. Strike raid, strike raid, and ours are crum 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 works just like how um, Sonic Blade works. Sonic Blade again, I, I mentioned it earlier when we first got it, but basically you dash for it like Cloud at the at the use of like two MP uh, MP bars, two uh you know of two MP right, and that's pretty much the move for Sonic Blade. It's really not that useful in Kingdom Hearts One at all. Um, strike raid instead of dashing forward. Um, like Sonic Blade, you basically throw your Keyblade, right? You throw your Keyblade and it returns to you, and that's pretty much what Strike Raid does. Ours, our Crum 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 Crum, uses three MP, three bars of MP, and it's a chain of attacks. And towards the end, you get kind of like a—I don't want to call it a quick time event because they don't—they don't really show you. But if you hit the button in rhythm. Right, the triangle button in rhythm, uh, you get some extra hits, and at the end you get a big, big old hit at the end of it. If there's any one of these abilities to use throughout the whole entire game, it's ours, our crum, 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 whatever the hell it's called. And then another one that we will get later, which I forgot what it's called, honestly. I think it might be called Infinity something or something like that. I, I don't know. I honestly don't remember. I barely use it. 
But yeah, as of right now, that's pretty much it for uh, Olympus Coliseum. It's Trinity over here. Honestly, I was going to hold off on doing the Trinities. Right, I was just going to, you know, after the main game, we can just run on back and grab grab whatever Trinity is waiting for us. But you know what? Might as well just get them as we go along. Make it easier for myself. Um, Actually, let me... Let me head back there real quick. I think if you talk to Hercules, he might give you something? He might. I'm not sure about that, though. You got something for me, Herc? You beat me last time, but next time won't be easy. Okay, no. I don't know why I thought he would give me something. Mythro Shard. Nice. All right, now that's out the way. <coughs> now that's out the, out the way. The reason why I wanted to do that is because I want to head back to Neverland with our new ability to push open, uh, you know, to push on things while Donald ropes my ass. Head back to the ship hold. Over here, I want to grab something pretty important to me, anyways. Damn, look at that big money damage we're doing. There we go. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to climb ladders anymore. You can fly all over Neverland. Oh, that reminds me, I gotta equip the glide. Alright, here in Neverland- oh fuck. Here in Neverland, I'm gonna glide up- ah, come on, man. I'm gonna glide up here. Open this, paper G. And open this, I think this might have puppies inside, maybe? They do, okay, puppies. Great. But more importantly, you wanna come over here. Yeah, that's right, Donald. Grab that ass. Alright, and in here, we get Dark Matter, Dark Matter, uh, Eroa, right? Or Calcum, oh, that is important. Some puppies? Yeah. Up here is this, the power of wind? Obtain the power of wind. Arrow has been upgraded to Aurora. Alright, cool. And now we have Tier 2, Wind Magic, which... I would like to demonstrate what I mean by how awesome it is by walking through here, doing this, and just running into enemies. Isn't that cool? Look at that. That's amazing. And it gets even better later. On top of this, your defense is increased more than it was before. That's great. That's amazing. Why wouldn't you want that? thing basically melts enemies. Alright. I want to grab that before heading to uh, the, uh, what you call it, the next world. Or, we can finish off Atlantica if we want right now, but since, you know, I'm actually just kind of testing this out. We can head off to uh, the new world, so let's do that. This is where the new gummy ship comes in play. Now it's a little big, so I gotta be careful where I'm moving around, but for the most part, our weapon systems will help us. Look at this. Now on top of this, I could have added an engine, so I can, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh shit! <laughs> that kind of scared me. I was going too fast. I thought it wouldn't open. 
Now towards the end of this area over here, just make sure that you kind of move to the side because like three ships are going to come flying from behind you and if you're not careful, especially if you're in the regular ship, they're going to hit you and just kill you and fuck up your whole run. So just be careful for that. Shouldn't be too much of a problem for me though, I think. I think. I'm not, you know, I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm pretty sure in the original- yeah, here's the guys. Ow. Not even three ship, it was four of them. Jesus. But yeah, just keep an eye out for that. Like, you saw how much damage that shit did to me? Oh. There we go. With all that, we're at Hollow Bastion. Nice. Let us disembark. Gorsh, look at that. I know this place. Welcome to Hollow Bastion. The final frontier, as they may say. Hmm, that's strange. Now if you're ready for some story to happen, we're pretty much, once you head to Hollow Bastion, you're pretty much at like the third arc of the game, basically. Third act. My bad, I don't know why I call it Ark. I feel this warmth inside, inside, right there. Ah, you're just hungry. You know what, Donald, I am hungry. You out here looking like a snack, a little bit of a peeking duck, you know what I mean? Put some duck sauce on that shit, a little bit of orange sauce with that, you know? Hey, I'm serious! Now, if you are not prepared, uh, I highly recommend that you may want to think twice, heed Goofy's warning, and go and get some items and shit or whatever you need before heading to Olive Bastion. Because once you get ready to, you know, do it, once you move forward from up here, you're going to be stuck. You're going to be stuck running around for a bit. So anything you need to do, I highly advise that you hop in your gummy ship and you get the fuck out right now and you do what you got to do. But for us... We're pretty much in a good spot right now, so we shouldn't worry too much. And with that said, I'm actually going to take a quick break. Get up and stretch my legs, right? Because this is going way faster than I thought it would, honestly. So I'm going to take a quick break, run an ad real quick, get up, stretch my legs, and then, uh, you know, come on back. We're going to tackle Hollow Bastion. All right. We are back. Hopefully that's a good enough long bit of a resting period for me. Uh, let me just make sure that the audio is going. It's going, 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 going. All right, cool. Okay, cool. Let us move on. Actually, let me look at the audio one more time. I feel like this should actually be lower than what the hell it is right now. There we go. Now I feel a little bit more comfortable. All right. So once you're ready here in Hollow Bastion, take a couple of steps to your destiny. Oh shit, before I forget again. God damn it. Shared, glide, equip. Hold square, hold square? Is it hold squared or circle? Hold circle to glide. This is your glide outside of Neverland. Love it as it loves you. No help from the heartless. No bitches. So tell me, how'd you get here? Hmm. Uh, I simply believed. Nothing more to it. When our world fell into darkness, Belle was taken from me. I vowed I would find her again, no matter what the cost. But I believed I would find her. So here I am. She must be here. I will have her back! Take her if you can. Damn, Riku, you must be in, into some crazy role reversal type shit, because I'm pretty sure the monster should be the one saying, Take her back if you can.
This 15 year old just tried to commit murder. So, you finally made it. About time. I've been waiting for you. Why have you been waiting for me? I asked you to join me the first time I saw you. You've always pushed me. As I've always pushed you. I, I didn't push you. I thought you were my friend. There can't be two Keyblade Masters. What are you talking about? Yeah, there isn't two Keyblade Masters, only one. It's me. It's true, Master. <laughs> Maleficent was right. You don't have what it takes to save Kyrie. It's up to me. Only the Keyblade Master can open the secret door and change the world. Riku holding the Kingdom Key doesn't look good at all. <laughs> How did this happen? I'm the one who fought my way here with the Keyblade. You were just the delivery boy. Sorry, your part's over now. Where, where did you get that? Here, go play hero with this. Oh my god, Riku is literally walking around with a stick up his ass. The fuck do you mean, let's go? Oh, well, I know the king told us to follow the key and all, but. Ah, uh, fuck you guys, anyways. You're not sorry. Get out of here. Same reason as you, beast. Because I have no bitches. To fight for Bell. And though I am on my own, I will fight. I won't leave without her. That's why I'm here. Too. I'm not gonna give up now. I you know, when you look at it, the handle on the wooden sword is kind of too small for Sora. Him and his big, giant Mickey Mouse hands he got. Anyways, Donald and Goofy are a bunch of assholes. They leave you, and now you're teamed up with the Beast. Hello, Beast. Let's check your abilities out. Oh, my bad. Let's check your abilities out. There we go. Well, since Beast is your only fucking teammate right now... I highly, highly recommend that you give him a second wind. Just in case he gets his ass knocked to the ground, he gets up faster. Right? Because this time, your teammate's actually more important than you. Um. Also, you might want to head over here to customize and equip uh, whatever magic to your liking. Right, I recommend running around this area using fire magic. Right, because magic is still available to you. But yeah, you don't have the keyblade anymore and you just have a wooden a wooden sword. And just like a wooden sword, it is not gonna do much damage. So the most for the most part you're gonna be running around and having beasts do most of the work. While you kinda just hide and bitch and maybe take a couple of shots. Oh my god, I just got hit with a wave of tiredness. Let us not, let us not deal with that right now, please. So you can explore Hollow Bastion if you want. Or not. See, this is what you do with the, <laughs> that's what you do with the wooden, with the wooden sword. Pretty much nothing. You need to use magic. I mean, if you want to attack, use magic. That's pretty much what you got. And then direct Beast to come and do whatever. But you don't have to worry about it too much. Hopefully. Oh, gates are shut. Jesus. 
Beast, we gotta go open the gates. Follow me, buddy. Now, you gotta activate these elevators to get to where you wanna go. But if there's enemies around, you're definitely not gonna be able to activate them, so just keep that in mind. I forgot what that block puzzle was for down there, that block pushing puzzle. But since I have high jump and glide, I can kind of just go wherever the fuck I please, you know what I mean? Not worry about it. Oh, this is not where I want to go right now. Up on down here. Jump into this air bubble. How this air bubble works, I don't know. It is magic. Fire a ring. Thank you, beast. Oh my fucking god. You guys do not know how bad I just got hit with a wave of, like, just being purely tired. To be honest, I have not gotten that much good sleep today. This is the shit I was talking about earlier. <laughs> Where I was like, make sure you get good sleep, first and foremost. Because I'm literally at a couple of seconds away from passing out, honestly. But I want to finish Hollow Bastion first. So here in the waterway, you're going to come across uh, these doors with these activated triggers and shit like that. It's a nice little puzzle, but here's what you're going to do. You're going to hit this one first. Then you're going to hit this one, and it's going to block off your exit, but that's okay though, because you don't need it. hit this one. I am... Oh my god, I might not even be able to finish Hollow Bastion. I am a couple of fucking seconds away from passing out. You know what? You know what we can do, actually? We can, uh... I'll get to a good stopping point in Hollow Bastion, right? Maybe cut the stream short. Maybe. And then I'll rest up and then come back later. What? What the fuck? Oh, here we go. That's what we do. Release that. I was like, why wouldn't it go up? <laughs> why wouldn't the elevator go up? Over here, you're going to deal with some enemies. Or should I say Beast is going to deal with some enemies? You can pretend to help if you want. Good job, Beast. Sounds like the door has opened. Head back to the castle gate. With pleasure. If I don't pass out first. If I don't pass out first. My eyes are like really heavy. It's actually really hard to blink right now. <laughs> Jesus. That, that just hit me out of nowhere. Uh, on your way out, make sure you just hit the buttons the way you did. While coming in, it's just going to make things a lot easier. Alright. We should be free. My voice just kind of cracked a little bit, actually. Now over here, I'm actually going to have bees break this right now, so I don't have to do it later. Oh, here's a nice little room. You can get some stuff in there. It's an ambush, though, so just heed that warning. Fair they be warned.
All right. Beast, I need you to deal with this problem. Can't use the elevator till it get dealt with. Thank you, Beast. Thank you, Beast. It's like having your own personal mini Hulk. All right. Now that the mechanism is hit, the door is open. Hey, the game was right. I am the one that opened the door. Also, that motherfucker hit me for half my health. That was really stupid. It's just a shit poster. Quit while you can. No, not without Kyrie. The darkness will destroy you. Hey man, where you get that? The darkness may destroy my body, but it can't touch my heart. My heart will stay with my friends. It'll never die. Really? We'll, we'll just see about that. Ah! I love how Sora just like puffs his fucking. Like, it looks like. I mean, he's bracing himself, but it looks like he kind of just stuck his chest out and he's like, yeah, come and hit it. But I'm not gonna betray Sora either, because he's become one of my best buddies after You know what, Goofy? You're my best buddy too. See you later, Donald. Could you tell the king I'm really sorry? Hold on, Goofy. We'll tie them together. Well, you know. You know what, Donald? Go fuck yourself. You're, stuck with us, Sora. you're just hopping on the bandwagon. Donald, Goofy. How will you fight without a weapon? I know now I don't need the Keyblade. I've got a better weapon. My heart. <laughs> Your heart? What good will that weak little thing do for you? Although my heart may be weak, it's not alone. It's grown with each new experience, and it's found a home with all the friends I've made. I've become part of their heart just as they've become a part of mine. And if they think of me now and then, if they don't forget me, then our hearts will be one. I don't need a weapon. My friends are my power. Did someone say friendship? <laughs> All right, time for a fight with Riku. It's not too difficult, you know. He's definitely, he's definitely learned more over the course of the adventure. Now, honestly, I have no really strategy advice for him. Just kind of, you know, at, at this point, you should. Oh shit, you know, you should know what to look out for. Um, I just also want to point out, <laughs> you get you get Riku near near the fucking. Uh, what you call it, the steps, the railing, he can slide down it too, just like Sora. I find it very, very interesting. He rarely does it though, for me anyways. But yeah, if you have Arrow 2, recommend throwing that shit on, get that contact damage in there, uh, help you deflect hits, and up your defense. I mean, come on, just look at it. Just look at, look at Riku get fucked up.
So your heart won this battle. I know it didn't win this battle, your fucking anger management. Jesus, man. It's just one little wimpy shadow. Alright, now the gang's back all here and we can use white trinities now. Now, I'm actually gonna run my little tuckus over here into the library. Here in the library, you wanna grab some books, put them in the right spot. Before you ask me, no, you cannot read any of these books. So I'm going to throw that one up there, and I'm going to actually run up here. Because up here is a lovely save point for us. I thought it wasn't going to be there for a moment. I actually got really scared. Alright. So I'm not sure if you guys can, you know, tell in my commentary or anything like that, but I am, I am struggling really badly to stay awake right now. Like, just really, really badly. Like, I am stupid tired. Like, I can't, I honestly can't continue streaming right now. That's how bad it is. I don't know what's been happening lately with my sleep schedule. It's been completely fucked. Um, it's like directly combating with my work schedule. It's not good. <laughs> so, I'm going to get some shut eye. I'm going to end the stream early tonight. Sadly, I actually don't want to do that. But if I have time tomorrow, I definitely will put a notice out there on the Twitter to let you guys know when I'm going live. Uh, the second I'm going live, right? It's not going to be on the schedule, of course. And then we're going to get in like an hour or two of Kingdom Hearts to kind of make up for this stream right here being shorter. Because it really shouldn't be. <laughs> we should actually be finishing Hollow Bastion and maybe doing a little bit more. Uh, you know? But we'll do that all tomorrow because I am I'm really tired. So, on the screen are all the necessary links for my... For my YouTube, my Twitch, my Twitter, for the places you want to go and follow and subscribe and stuff. If you're on YouTube, check out some of the playthrough. There, there are playthroughs that don't get streamed that are YouTube only, right? For those of you on Twitch, so you can go and check that out. Current, for example, currently we're doing Vampire, right? Um, well, I'm doing Vampire. I don't know. I keep saying we're we. I feel like it's a you know a group thing, but um, I'm currently doing Vampire on the YouTube channel. Right, the game by Donut, where you play as Dr. Jonathan Reed, and you walk around and you heal your patients and try not to suck their blood, and you go around and integrate yourself in with vampire society and shit like that. So that's pretty fun, right? If you care about narrative driven vampire secret society stuff and like old Victorian London type bullshit, you'll definitely like that. Um,. Also, I've said it multiple times now, there's the Pokemon Marathon going on right now. Well, I, I keep saying Marathon. If it was truly a Marathon, it would still be ongoing right now. But it's actually a little bit on a hiatus because I messed up. I messed up a little bit on my part in terms of uh, the order of how I want to play a game. So I'm currently waiting on some artwork so I can throw that. So I can just have artwork for the thumbnail done, really, for the next playthrough. But as of right now, Pokemon Red and Blue is completely done. Uh, complete, I keep saying completely done. I got like one bonus episode to like work on, but that's, you know, for the most part, the playthrough is done. Um, there's a final part up for it, so you can go and watch that in its entirety if you like old Pokemon, red and blue. Uh, you know, uh, what you call it? English version, red and blue, not the Japanese version, not red and green. So you can go and check that out. I, I think it's a pretty nice playthrough. I'm happy of how it came, I'm happy with how it came out. You know, and there's a bunch of other playthroughs for you to check out. On those videos and you know <clears throat> on the stream archive stuff where that will also go on the YouTube if you're watching those and you like them help the channel out by just leaving a like and a comment right tell me what your favorite part was or something like that and just click the like button it helps out greatly same thing with this video if you're watching this on YouTube it helps out greatly you don't know how much it actually helps with and if you you know you want to make something at the YouTube channel for more people to see it and come and, you know, check out something that they might find out what's cool, you can help out with that. Um, what else is there for me to talk about? On my Twitter, again, I just post stuff. It's nothing too crazy. I'm not doing anything crazy on Twitter. If you just want to see me post, that's pretty much that. Um, I will say, though, 
if you're someone who likes to make fan art for stuff that happens during the playthrough, or like a joke I might say or something, you want to visualize that or whatever, um, you can, you know, at me on Twitter, send it that way, right there, and show it to me. Be like, hey, and then I'll take the artwork with your permission, obviously. If you don't want it, make sure you tell. If you don't want to, make sure you tell me. I'll take that and I'll throw it right up on the stream, like at the beginning of the stream where where I show all the artwork and stuff like that. So if you wanna. If you want to do that, you can do that. And that's it for Twitter. And as for Twitch, for those of you guys watching the VODs, thank you very much. Right? I appreciate you. For those who are watching live, I appreciate you as well. It's fun to talk with you. You know, as always, catch up with you guys and stuff like that and have a nice back and forth with you guys. Um, for those who are watching the VODs, please check out the YouTube channel if you can't check out uh, the Twitch live. And for those of you who do care, uh, if you want to, you can subscribe to me on Twitch. I recommend doing the lowest tier, right? Tier one, because I really don't have anything for tier two or tier three right now, to, to be perfectly honest. But if you want me to be able to stream more, click on that subscription button. And if you have Amazon Prime or whatever, right? Uh, you get a free subscription to a Twitch channel of your choosing. So if you just want to throw that my way, that's greatly appreciated. I appreciate you for it. Thank you. Thank you very much. And that's pretty much it for me. <laughs> that's pretty much everything I want to say. All that wonderful PR bullshit is out the way. Thank you for listening to the spiel. And now it's time for the actual outro. So, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.